This is the most interesting weather. You'll never know when it's in the morning, when it's it's in the midday, and or when it's in the evening. I love this when it's always drizzling, no rains, no huge rains, you know, and the weather is just so cool, you know. Yeah, when the time across are like wet, wet. I love this weather. This is what makes me love being in the off-grid <laughs> this is the view that makes me so happy this view oh man i love it so much <laughs> going to sweep Oh, let's open this one. Oh. It's been raining and uh, well, no rain inside. Yes, I just swept the compound, looks so beautiful. This is always my step number one, cleaning the compound in my farm. And now, I wanna go camping in my backyard, in my lawn. I wanna go camping here. be out here today and uh, talk to myself think relax enjoy my farm alone and everything
just here trying to ask uh, chat GPT about off grid and I was actually watching uh, my favorite off grid uh, content creators yeah and um, wow. just enjoying the view from the tent at the back side of my car cabin yeah guys uh, wow oh life is so beautiful in a way that sometimes you never know when things are good or bad and, and we all we all just keep keep doing and doing things every day you don't know what's right and what's wrong you know oh god i just feel like this is a uh, another season of life whereby i i need god i need god to help me in my creativity because the path that i want to follow is very different and i'm so new i'm a beginner you know it's not it's not that easy guys to do homesteading and off grid living you need to be smart you need to be you need to be passionate you need to be sure of what you want to do. You need to be good in planning, taking notes, keeping notes, and then following schedules and all that. Because uh, since we started, guys, I can't imagine we have transformed this land since it was like nothing. Let me wear my shoes. Ooh. Guys, I remember we transformed this place from nothing. This grass was not here, we planted it. And uh, it was just like a bare space for just farming corn. But we took the, the initiative of transforming the farm until what it is today. Oh God. I just feel so proud of me and you. <sighs> now here we are. We have our cabin, we have a very big banana like we used to dream and we have very beautiful pathways and flowers and a lawn and some nice outdoor furnitures <sighs> now what next <laughs> now what next tell me what next guys yeah so most of the times i do my research is just like you guys online google chat gpt yeah and i'm and i've been for the last like three four three days i've not been uploading I've, i took a break to just ask myself am i doing exactly what i've always wanted to do on where am i going wrong and i've been doing a lot of research and planning and scheduling god is good and we might be entering in the last quarter of the year actually it's like we are in the last quarter of the year already and all i want to do in the last quarter of the year is just off-grid living the real real off-grid living we are not yet done we have a toilet not yet done we have a kitchen but they're not yet done but that is not like a problem right now the biggest problem we have is the weather <laughs> now it's been raining since morning to evening we've been praying for this because we have uh, food in the farm you see my neighbors have ma maize corn and that is what they need for their food to to flourish I also need that because my flowers, I want them to grow, I have a kitchen garden. Yeah, what's on? Actually, let's go check how our kitchen garden is doing. That is not like a problem. We just need to be good in timing. Only that on this end of Kenya, when the rain starts now. Oh, look at our spinach. Since the rain started, the leaves are so big. I never knew that you can do. You know, you know, guys, I planted the spinach when it was very, very dry. You know, these are coriander. Someone is, I sold them to someone, and they are picking them every day. Let me <laughs> let me show you our, our colored green that grew naturally alone. Oh god, from the old nursery, it's so big. Maybe today I harvest it and I go and eat it. Maybe and we have our very big tomato plants. Tomato plants, I think now they need um from here. We have a lot of them here. 
in this place and then we also have cassava there i think all we need to do is maybe bs from tomorrow see it's even drizzling right now you see bs from tomorrow i work on them i put some sticks to strengthen them yeah our kales colored greens we, we used best size the other day we have the dead leaves that were being eaten by the pests but now they are going to be shed and then we remain with the healthy ones see these ones they have, they have to go down they have to go down according to me yes this one is chicken from the fence they they eat this one not the pest see now we are left with very green big leaves see we have new ones coming out here see like this one it's a bunch of very nice leaves i can harvest any time i want now for dinner lunch and everything yeah they are really doing good yes the onions are also good i can harvest them any time i want to cook you know yes we also planted new ones and they are actually adapting that is our farm, our kitchen garden so far. It's not that bad. Yeah. I love this spot so much with my tent there. And that uh, outdoor furniture looks so beautiful. Our tomato have flowers. So now they need attention. A lot of, all oh, those are tomato seedlings. You see, that is cassava back there. Maybe I show you our cassava. You see, like a month ago, that is when we planted the sticks but now big leaves you know you know very nice flower here is from a weed you see even this tomato one this one has a a tomato now they, they need attention now right tomorrow that is what we do yeah uh, our camping site this place can even accommodate like how many tents one two three four like four tents then we have oh you <laughs> can accommodate even four or five tents you know Our bed is complete, you see, it's complete now, it's the mattress remaining. I have a big mattress at my house, but the problem is that that mattress is see, 5 by 6 and this bed is 4 by 6. I tried to force it, but it could not work, so I just took it back to my house. Yeah. So the bed is complete, just a mattress and then we have some nice curtains. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, guys. Uh, oh, <sighs> thank you for watching my camping video today. Yeah, thank you for watching my camping video. I was just making some simple breakfasts from this area. That was some um, chocolate tea with mandazi yeah and i did some press-ups <laughs> so guys tell me give me now suggestions and ideas tell me what do you think so far because i'm not alone here we are always doing this all of us so tell me where are we what we should correct what we should change yes our grass is doing fantastic you just tell me what you need us to change yeah we need to add more bananas there the kitchen garden like three or four more this one is serving its purpose i really wanted it to be just there even if it doesn't bear the bananas i'm okay i just wanted to be here as a plant to give the shade and to give the vibe yep your boy is here right, okay. 
Yeah, that is it, guys. And our uh, flowers are really producing nice, nice flowers. Purple flowers. Do they match my shot? Not sure. Yeah. This is how drizzling it is every single second. We have a lot of water on these cocoa yams. A lot of drops, droplets. Yeah, let me end this story here. We started with a very nice story plus our vlog two in one. So we are done with the bed just for an update. And uh, after the bed, the mattress. Tomorrow we are doing the countertop with Osea, and then after that, ah, we continue with our lifestyle. We start having meat, start having bonfire, just like we said. We have uh, two types of lives that we can have here. We can have ASMR lifestyle, and we can also have vlog and vibe with people kind of lifestyle on this channel. So I'll always giving, I'll always be giving you both of two lifestyles because that is what we've been doing since day one but also the other cool one like the way we started this video i also love it so much and that is what keeps me strong the compound is clean like always and guys i want to say thank you thank you please subscribe to this channel if you haven't no negative vibes just good vibes no drama just royal kim and this big family here enjoying life and good vibes Guys, I love you so much. May God bless you all. I love you and love you and love you and love you and love you. And I'll see you in the next story. <laughs>